Hey guys, it's Billy and welcome back to Spill Sash. And today we are talking about two different topics, and that is that Addison Ray is getting a bunch of backlash for winning a streamy, and we're talking about why Tana Mojo is so upset. We have got to get into it. So first, I'll start off with the streamies. This year's streamy winners have been announced, and the big winner, creator of the year, was Mr. Beast, and show of the year was Bretman Rock for his 30 Days with Bretman Rock series. Those were the big winners of the night. But but of course, some drama came upon when Addison Ray won her award. And Addison, being a TikToker, people were very, very confused as to why the heck she'd be winning a YouTube award when she posted barely any videos on her channel this year. She won in the lifestyle category. I don't really get this category because lifestyle kind of makes it seem like they're vlogging or something, but that's literally not what Addison does on YouTube or any of these people in the category. So I'm pretty confused about that whole thing in this category. Her energy though when she won was actually so adorable like she was very excited to win this award She said it's the first award she's ever won so good on Addison, I guess this really means a lot It's my first award I've ever won Wait, actually? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much. I love you guys so much I love all my fans and supporters and wish I could meet you all and hug you and kiss you Even though that's probably not the most sanitary thing to do, but I would still do it okay. oh, oh, so <laughs> Yay! Yay! But people on Twitter were not having it and when she posted that she won people were like you made four videos this year isn't this a YouTube award? I don't know what she's pulling on her channel, but if the highest followed person on TikTok can't rake in the numbers, I somehow doubt she can. The Sidemen kind of got underrated, not gonna lie. I love her, but I think she doesn't deserve YouTube award because there is a thousand of real YouTubers who work there off. What did she do? I will say that there's a ton of categories within the streamies that have nothing to do with YouTube. I think it's just like an award show in itself, honestly, at this point, because they have sports categories and TikTok categories and i mean it doesn't seem to just be a youtube award show anymore and a lot of people that are nominated most of their tiktoks are actually tagged instead of their youtube names so it seems like they're just switching up who the heck is nominated for these awards but anyways let's get into why tana mojo is so upset because this is a lot and i've honestly never seen tana this bad before she was definitely not having it this past week that is for sure fresh off of dental surgery she was all worked up and so super pressed like very 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 pressed tana doesn't address a lot of things but she did want to address this because she was particularly pressed about this lie that has been spread on her name and that is that she's rude i mean besides TanaCon, i guess i haven't really heard much about her treating anybody badly since then um. until now because there was this tiktok that was going around saying that tana was rude threatening to sue someone over a comment they left on her instagram i mean it was a whole thing and tana was so mad about it that she posted a tiktok with amari going off saying that the one thing that you can't cancel her for is being rude throwing shade at James Charles, once again, one of her favorite things to do, saying she would never be like one of those celebrities or influencers that's like, I'm calling my lawyer. Here's a thing, y'all. I just got dental surgery. I literally have like six, nine fake teeth, like dentures in right now. And the last thing I am in the mood to do is go on a rant, which is going to make this rant 10 times angrier. I put on my make sure your friends are okay because today I'm here to make sure my friend and I are okay. Okay? Here's the second thing. Y'all could cancel me for anything. Y'all could cancel me for anything. I don't care, I will have any scandal. I don't give a what it is. I'm well aware, I'm a scandalous person. I get it. But one thing, over my dead body, over my grave, that you will never cancel my friends and I for is being rude to someone is being the type of celebrity or the type of influencer that talks to people crazy, that talks to people rude, that talks to people on some James Charles call my lawyer That is not who I am as a person. Tana wanted to address how someone named Nathan made a TikTok that she claimed is filled with lies and Photoshop DMs, claiming that Tana is extremely rude and all that. So yesterday, someone who goes by the name of Nathan posted a TikTok filled with slander, lies, lies. and Photoshop. A horrible say, Photoshop. Oh my God, saying that he commented something on my photo. Popcorn muffin. Which is very funny, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like I would never come for someone for commenting that. People literally tell me to 
every day. And I'm not, I'm not out here sliding in DMs talking about my lawyers. I have bigger people to sue, bigger problems to have. Okay, okay, okay. And basically explained, you know, the comment on her photo and then posted that Amari and Tana had DM'd him because of his comment and started calling him names, body shaming him, and then threatening to sue. He then proceeds to post a bunch of Photoshop DMs saying that Amari and I DM'd him, that I called him like a freak, that you- That I called him a, a fat pig, oink, oink. <laughs> What? And then said that I said I was gonna like sue him or my lawyers are coming, whatever, whatever, whatever. Obviously the comments on this TikTok blew up and we're like, Tana, what the heck? Like you can't be saying things like this to people. Like that's so hurtful. What the heck is she thinking? What's wrong with her? I mean, people were really, really believing it, which obviously had Tana very upset. I see this TikTok and I comment on it and I go, none of this is true. Why would you do this? Tana then realized that he has posted her on his story before, like many times before, because she went to her DMs to see if like they've ever talked before. And nope, no messages that she could see that they have ever talked. But he had apparently like put her on like his story and like had obviously tried to get her attention before. And maybe he was just butt hurt that she didn't reply to him or something like that. And that's why he decided to go this route to get her attention. But it definitely wasn't good attention. Mama's got the receipts. I then pull up my Instagram DMs with him and see that we have never messaged, that he has mentioned me in his story a lot of Multiple times. Multiple times. That's what mine looked like too. Mentioned in story once. Then he also right. sent me a DM, unsent it. So now it just says accept or deny. Right. He then proceeds to mention me in his story again, saying that I said I would contact my legal team. Babe, I'm literally suing a homeowner right now. They're busy. He later admitted to Tana in the DMs, because obviously she messaged him and was like, what the heck is going on? He did admit that he was trolling, but Tana was not having any of that. Second of all, then says it was a joke. LOL, I was trolling. Trolling would insinuate there's a joke, Nathan. And these are some of the messages between the two of them that she shared in her TikTok. He said, well, I troll a lot. And she said, I guess I've always seen difference in trolling and blatant lying. Trolling usually insinuates a joke being there, not just lying and everyone believing you. He was like, it was a joke. I said, I commented popcorn muffin, but yes, the comments are hurtful. I wasn't trying to cancel you. She said, you're responding to comments insinuating that I did. Obviously I am out there with my image, but I take pride in the fact that I never speak to people hurtfully so rumors being spread about me like this actually hurts my feelings and not that you would care have a nice night it looks like he does say like i really care or something but i mean oh god <laughs> it doesn't seem like it he then continues to tell me he didn't mean to hurt me this was a joke da -da -da -da, all while on his tiktok responding to comments like how is amari gonna be rude like tana made him famous and then he's like facts oh my god like and then there's also so someone that's like um, is it wasn't Amari fat in high school or is he just fat now? And I'm like, People are saying like high school bully energy when I would never act like this to someone. But I totally get Tana's side here where she's saying like this stuff ruins her image. If somebody was like Tana like said something really effed up to me, of course, everybody is going to be like, what the heck? Tana sucks, you know? So that's why she wanted to come out here and make a video. Most influencers, if something is not true about them, they'll come out immediately. And if something is true about them, they'll be a little silent about it. So Tana is super mad over this. I mean, she's clearly got to be because Tana hardly ever addresses any drama that she's in. Like, ever. I mean, do you remember how long it took her to address that stuff last um. summer? Yeah. Oof. And in her TikTok is like, I'm going to be really mean now because I'm mad and you're upsetting me. So I am going to be mean and I am going to threaten you with the lawsuit. And this all led Tana to say this. And lie. now, now I'm going to label you. I want you to. Sorry, that was a little Wendy Williams. I'm like. <laughs> Yikes. Not the Wendy moment. Not the Wendy moment, Tana. This is. <laughs> that's going to get you in trouble. And if you want to talk legal team now, I will sue you for slander. But you guys, this is crazy. Obviously, Tana is very upset. So I definitely want to know what you guys think about this. Did you guys see this TikTok? Also, how do you guys feel about Addison winning a streamy? Are you as mad as everybody else is that she got this YouTuber award, even though she hasn't posted on her channel in a while? Can somebody also explain to me what the lifestyle category is? Because I'm still very lost upon that one. I don't know what that is. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.